Hey, what's up guys? Camp in Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today we're discussing four or five things, just random leaks, some really interesting ones though, so stick around if you're new around here. Subscribe to the channel, keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. Touch that like button for me, and if you're using the item shop, you're purchasing anything, make sure to use that code, the Camp in Russia. Helps me out tremendously, and uh, send me a tweet if you do so I can say thank you. Alright, Fort Tory. Starting off, just uh, letting you know here where this, this ice storm's at. This is the first time that people saw it. This is actually the image that we used in the video when we first saw it. And here is what it looks like now. So it's obviously getting closer. And um, we know this is happening. I Just, just like with, with any of these uh, ongoing events, we'll call them. Uh, just keeping you up to date on where it's at. So next up here is an interesting one. All right, here's the tweet from FN Leak. The game files now include the explicit explicit mention of destroying tilted towers. Uh, I can't find any other information. These lines of text have to do with bots that are configurable in some manner to attack things. <laughs> so I don't know what any of this means, all right? All I know is here's the picture it was there. Um, this is in the files. Now, I've been watching, I've been reading kind of arguments back and forth between uh, the leakers to try and understand what does this mean anything. Because, yes, destroy tilted towers is in the files. But people are saying this can, uh, there, there's two things here. It could be real, it could be happening, um, or it could be a test. Like th they mentioned bots, it could be some sort of test mechanism to uh and i don't even know what they're testing i'm trying to explain something i literally do not understand um but it, basically they're using the bots to test certain features i guess features of the game and destroy tilted towers it might not actually be happening it might just be again a test mechanism all right if you know any more on this if you could read that code and be like ah i know exactly what that is <laughs> let me know um but a lot of the youtubers are, are putting the because it says bots the youtubers are throwing in the aim skin the robot that's not true do, do not list like it might be true i guess it's totally um based off of the this bot thing though it doesn't actually mean robot um these bots are used to do a variety of different things and destroy tilted towers is only one of the files that that goes with these bots all right so so that ro aim destroys tilted towers um at this point is just made up it could happen but th there's no evidence for it all right next up here is more to do with the snowstorm but uh, an interesting piece here is the ice bore, the iceberg in game, which is the snowstorm, the ice fog, uh, actually is going to be bringing something with it. It looks like there's there's some someone living on it or some abandoned POI on it. Uh, so here are some pictures. This is the just the the ice storm, as you can see. You can see there's a little fort sticking out. There's a little area. Um, so a couple other images here. That is the iceberg without the snow. All right, these are just meshes from the from the files. Um, this is the fort w without uh, just on its own, right? So it's there. It's actually a fort. It's it's made for that. And and then this last one doesn't really matter. It's just the the fog surround. That's probably just the fog surrounding the fort. Uh, so th th again, we don't really know what this means. All we know is there's there's either an abandoned or something, someone is living in there, and that's coming in with the iceberg. That might be part of the castle POI we've been talking about. Uh, because again, it it, it it might not just be this one piece, right? There might be a lot more below or hidden from the fog that we don't know about. Uh, but there is something on the iceberg and. Yeah, we're getting another piece of the puzzle, but no idea how they all connect together, <laughs> which is sometimes frustrating, but that's all right. At least we at least we know a little bit more of what's going on. Um, and again, season seven is just around the corner, right? I think we got, is it a week left? Something like that. And there is going to be some type of event with this, and we're going to go into that in just a second. But yeah, I'll keep you up to date on everything here, what we think's happening. It should be a really fun week of Fortnite. Make sure you're subscribed. All right. Next up here, Fort Torrey. This is the new second part of Canny Valley and Save the World. So this is not Save the World news, but it does relate to Battle Royale. This is the same rift, but purple. Dot, 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 color of the cube. Donald Mustard says, next chapter, uh, dot, 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 related to Battle Royale. So the tweet he is referencing is this one. And, um... Uh, yeah, so it, it is a save the world announcement, but we have seen crossover many times 
uh, not officially, but between Save the World and uh, Battle Royale, such as the rocket launching, right? I think the rocket launch was part of a Save the World mission or storyline as it was happening in Battle Royale, the rocket event. So there has been relation before, and this is called the Beta Rift. And uh, so I've seen things like this before, comparisons before, and I won't include them, but the Beta Rift could add up and make sense a little bit with what they've been doing with the permanent rift right they've been working on that rift all season and and harnessing the power of it whether that's been accomplished through the butterfly event that we saw if that had anything to do with it or if we're going to see that uh the end point of uh, of that rifts experiment at season seven maybe this is what it turns into i don't know um so yeah two things here as well it could totally just be save the world but i thought we'd include it it uh it could have some relation to battle royale and if it did what do you guys think it would do what would be the difference between this one and a normal rift let me know other than that ladies and gentlemen i do have like i said a lot of uh event stuff here so the hamburger event is what it's called um, we've got sound so all the sounds from the event I'm gonna play for you in just a second before the gameplay so stick around and listen to these these are the actual sounds of the event this event could be um, uh, I've assumed it was the hamburger as in the Durr burger the Durr burger versus team pizza or whatever it is the Fortnite food fight and because burger got most of the votes they're gonna do a hamburger event on the contrary, the hamburger could just be a code name, and it could be this could be the event for the the ice fog, the the new POI, whether it's the end of this season or at the start of next season. There is some event in the files. Here are all the sounds to it. If you could, after listening to it, let me know in the comments. What do you think it is? Do you think it's related to the food fight, or do you think it's related to the ice storm to season seven? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. I won't talk to you again, but I'm going to play some gameplay after this. Stick around. It's always some good stuff, and uh, it helps me out tremendously. Touch that like button on your way out. Enjoy the sounds, and enjoy the gameplay. Dude, I can get up there pretty quick, but I'm chilling.
All right, one dropped on me. Coming, coming. Coming. Connected. I, I knocked him, I knocked him. Let's go. The other guy dropped down. Oh, bird. Dude! I'm awful, GG.